Today's video is starting at our home away from home, the Home Depot. We're here getting some That's Bondo. We're literally here every day, especially in the summer, but we're working on a piece today that needs to have some things fixed. So we're gonna get some Bondo, we're gonna fix them, and we're gonna get it painted. There's today's project. Zeb's, Zeb's rolling it away from our neighbor's house. They don't wanna be on camera. It's not for everybody, but we're gonna paint this piece up. So if you're wondering where this piece came from, this is from Richard and Angie's. They're next door neighbors to the shop. We don't do custom work. So I said, if they don't like it, no refunds. Uh, they do let us keep Buttercup. <laughs> Zeb's laughing at me. They do let us keep Buttercup in their backyard. So I'm happy to paint this for them. They picked it up at DI. I think it was 30 bucks, but it's not real wood. It's MDF with like paper on it. So we're gonna show you how to paint not real wood and get the paint to stick. Okay, just some quick scuffs. This is 220 grit sandpaper over the top of this. Essentially, it's a paper-like veneer. It's made to look like wood, but it's basically a printout. A very good printout. And I'm just scuffing this up. It's just, you know, a couple minutes of sanding, not, not going crazy, not trying to get through it, not using the sander. The orbital sander would cut right through this. We're using all-purpose Bondo on this piece. We're gonna fill in these holes. They don't like the way these look. So we're gonna fill this in. We're gonna leave the middle. If you didn't like the way the middle looks on your piece, you could easily just keep filling up. But we're just gonna do these circles here. And I had a whole gallon of this and I lost the cream hardener. But luckily they sell it down at the hardware store. They're ready for you to lose your hardener. I'm just gonna add a little dab, a couple peas worth on this. I'm gonna mix it over here in the shade because it's pretty warm. And once this gets mixed up, I think it's gonna dry fast, so. Bondo works really well to cover up holes. You'll wanna let it dry. That takes about 10 or 15 minutes. Once it's dried, then you're ready to sand. We're just using 220 sandpaper because we don't wanna get through the particle board because this dresser is not real wood. So that's taking off the hardware. And the next step's going to be primer. I should tell you that technically you're supposed to brush the primer, but we spray it, we feel like it works fine. And so that's what we're gonna do today. We're breaking all the rules. Well, we water it down, which is what you're not supposed to do. All right, we've got salvation solution in white. I'm gonna dump all of this in there. It is so thick. It's thicker than DIY paint, the clay-based paint. All right, that looks good enough. That's a lot. And I'm gonna put quite a bit of water in here. Probably uh, three parts salvation solution to one part water. I'll mix it up. Salvation Solution is all natural and water-based. For the paint and products used today, visit jamierayvintage.com. So we need to make like a taupey, grayish color so i'm going to mix crockery and gray skies in this bucket and we're going to see how close we can get zeb you want to shake this up for me huh. <laughs> you might be wondering i don't know that this is watertight it's made for holding pvc components like couplers and 90s and teams. hey i'm all about reuse reduce recycle it came from home depot used to have plumbing supplies now we're mixing paint yeah, in it's it. leaking out oh okay well it's working all right. Should be pretty mixed. It's not mixed get up a, on the side. Get a stick. What did it look like? I feel like that's too gray. Color. I think it needs more crockery. So this mix is way too gray for what they want. So I'm actually just taking this can of like three quarters of a pint of crockery and just adding this to it. So just going a little bit of the gray and crockery mix in here. Sometimes you gotta mess around till you get it just right that it was way too blue so should take her a stick dry because that's going to be the final color yeah well i will i'll leave it out in the sun so i'm going to show you guys why we're doing our neighbor's furniture in the summertime furniture doesn't sell super well it's not that it doesn't sell just not as often so we are full there is furniture here we don't normally have furniture there but we do we've got two dressers here there's no space in the shop and I think I might do like a local sale maybe next week, like sell a few pieces. But I also don't want to mark it down too much because I don't want it all gone. I just need to sell a couple pieces so we have a little bit of room. So hopefully we sell some and we'll be able to do new furniture for the shop next week. But this week was perfect to do furniture for Richard and Angie because you could see we're pretty full. Also shameless plug because we haven't done a shop tour in a while. Look how cute these new washcloths are that we just got in stock. 
they're crocheted and I am obsessed with them. And then we also have these really cute little Crocs in medium and small. I'll drop the links below in case you guys need some cute new stuff for summer. Also, here are these cute new towels that we got. And last but not least, we got these cute little half aprons with a pocket in the front and then the grain sack ties. I love them for summer. All right, now we'll get back to painting. Now I've done a little commercial break. We're really gonna let that primer bake on there so that way it's hard before we put our finished paint coat. So I'm just painting some smalls. Those already sold, that need to be done. This bench has been in our garage forever. So when you are spraying, it's always good to have some backup projects so that way you can be productive. And Americana is a great color for small, like thrift flips. Now that the primer is nice and baked on, we're gonna put our mix of crockery and gray skies by spraying it on. We have some more detailed videos on exactly how to set up a sprayer, but I will put those in the description box and you can just watch me paint this piece. It's pretty magical how quickly a sprayer can make over a piece with cottage color. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day I'm trying to make this darkness go away I'll paint with colors and I'll sing until my lungs give out Gonna let the sun shine in the day And I will leave my windows open So that I can hear the sound of people talking I'm being gentle Honestly, it's on there pretty good Yeah I think if you just hit the edges where it's gonna get touched Where like a well, ring Well, I just wanna bring out this detail here Yeah, where a ring might like catch it or something like that So there were a few divots that still showed and so we're just coming back with a second round of Bondo. So hopefully you can't see these. If it doesn't work after this, I'm gonna call it good. <laughs> so you can see where we Bondoed it, that now those circles are gone. Zeb was fussing over it. It's a little bit imperfect here. I'm gonna lightly distress it, but if we keep going and messing with it, it's just gonna make it bad because this is MDF. So if you're working on a piece similar to this, you don't want to get to that particle board MDF because it's just textured and yucky. So sometimes you have to say, that's good. I'm helping, here. I'm helping, see? I got one end. I was getting the hardware on there. We left the inside the original finish just because this type of shelf, like even priming and painting it, it just would scrape over time if you shove stuff in and out. So it's better to leave it original. Okay, so here is the finished piece. Let me zoom in so you can kind of see that white peeking through the detail. It turned out pretty awesome. I think Richard and Angie are really gonna like this. So we are headed over to Richard and Angie's right now. We're gonna go deliver this piece and we'll see you on the next episode. Special thank you to Richard and Angie for letting us paint their piece and for letting our cow live in their backyard. Thank you.